What's up everybody, CNZ3 here, here to do another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about the One Piece Toriko Dragon Ball Z collaboration. Sorry, I started there for, I paused there for a little second, I don't know why. It's almost like I had a brain fart, but fuck it. We're here, we're doing this review, I've been waiting for this to get subbed. I actually watched it in the raw version, I watched the full thing. Um, and thanks, shout out to Hado Sengoku. For check his channel out h o h a d o u s e n g o k u check his channel out does anime reviews video game reviews all that good stuff he actually gave me a link to or he gave not just me personally but the whole public a link to the subbed version of the first part of the special I just got done watching it and hey I gotta say I loved it, I loved I loved it I loved this first part um, not nothing to really note of over here though um, I guess I'll just give a brief synopsis. Basically, you have the, uh, the Straw Hat crew, you have the, the Bisha Kukais, so, you know, the, main, the, main, the four heavenly kings in Toriko, plus Komatsu and Rin, and then you have uh, some of the Z fighters in, uh, in DBZ, you have Goku, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Android 18 racing, and Master Roshi, Piccolo is on the sidelines, Krillin's on the sidelines, Marin's on the sidelines, you can also see Dende, you also see Majin Buu, you see, uh, Mr. Satan is, Mr. Satan, Mansum, are the ones sponsoring the this race and basically the three parties are racing to get to a very delicious meat which is which belongs to a cow that eats some of the best food in the world and of course Goku Luffy and Toriko those three being some of the hungriest people ever decide to want to go after this and you uh, gotta say n nothing nothing really stood out to me um, I mean it, it was fun um, let me think uh, first so no flying was allowed um which i thought was interesting which which of course if it was goku would win but uh even in running speed uh goku is much faster than all of them so he he should have he he would have won in realistic terms but this being a special it doesn't really matter you know it's for entertainment and but it was entertaining we see goku and he's running um and he's leading luffy and toriko and then eventually it splits into three groups uh, one of those groups being Goku, Luffy, Toriko, who are going towards the finish line through the shortest, most dangerous route, aka the mountains. Gohan, Sanji, Komatsu, and Setsuno take the east route through a forest where they have to fight a monster. And um, Roshi, Roshi, Android 18, Brook, Nami, Rin, and Frankie take the desert route, which is the more scorching, the sort of uh, more strenuous route than the other two I guess you could say because it's so, it's so hot they take that route and uh, one thing that I gotta say about the the one with Gohan and Sanji that group Gohan was kinda he had a beat of sweat when he was ready to fight to fight that monster uh, which sorta made me go like okay he's ultimate Gohan and he's scared to fight a monster when this guy was owning Super Boo but again it's a special so I didn't really care uh, it was a, it was a nice little thing over there um, and and they got through. They got ahead of it because uh, Sanji and Komatsu actually made food for the monster, the supposed monster in the forest, and then they caught by. And then the left route, the one with the uh, Roshi and Android eighteen, and Nami and Rin and uh, Frankie and Brook, and that was hilarious, because Roshi and Brook are in the <laughs> they're in the desert, and then Nami and Rin are helping them up, and then there's like let me see your tits and let me see your pa let me see your panties. And then they kicked them, and there's like all the blood is like going from their nose, you know, that that, that famous Japanese guy. Um, something of interest here that I forgot, uh, Krillin notes that uh, that the meat is w worth a lot of uh, money, and that's when we get to, um, that's where we see, uh, or we, Krillin says that, and that's where we see Nami with the belly signs, which I thought was kind of funny. And then, I also forgot that Android 18 was really into money, because if you remember during the World Tournament, remember how she wanted a cut of money from Mr. Satan? I forgot about that. I forgot about that, so that was a nice little reminder for me. Um, and it was also interesting for Android 18 because I, uh, Frankie and Android 18, that's never been, that, in terms of the Z Fighters and the One Piece crew and the Straw Hat crew, I've not, I forgot about the relation that Android 18 was a cyborg and, well, not really a cyborg, but she had cybernetic enhancements and so did Frankie, so I forgot about the connection. So that was also kind of interesting to see. Um, she only really only had one line in the first part. And uh, so that's that. And then Goku, Luffy, and Toriko. Goku is actually beating both Luffy and Toriko, uh, jumping up the mountain. Um, and then he reaches the top of the mountain. They catch up to him. And then King Kai uh, sort of sends him a te telepath telepathetic message. Goku receives it. And he's like, 
he's like, uh, oh, I'll be right there because there's an ultra powerful creature that I have to fight. So, uh, he goes off, and then Luffy and Toriko are, are ahead of him at this point, and they're one of the first ones to reach the finish line, but Goku catches up to them at the last minute, saying that he just saved the Earth. So, I think that's sort of like a tie-in to the Battle of Gods movie, because they're all in their Battle of Gods uniforms, all the DBZ characters. So, that was, so that was a nice little tie-in. Tie and then they all reach the finish line at the end, and then they grab it, and apparently it's going to be a fight to determine who gets the meat, because they all, all three of them touch them at the same time. But this being a Toei Animation production, they decide to throw in Mr. Satan over Mr. Satan over there because Satan obviously needs to win this fight, which he does in the end. But I gotta say, the fight between Goku, Toriko, and Luffy, though Goku in, in, in all seriousness should have won. I mean, he, he should have. It was a, it was a pretty fun fight because it was nice to see that he was surprised at Luffy's stretching ability and Toriko's kooky punch. You know, those were things that he would have never have guessed. Uh, so it was nice for him to to. Uh, to take that and to see and to see how he dealt with it, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, you guys are strong. I'm so excited now. So that was also nice. I I felt like Toriko was on the losing edge over here because uh, Toriko got more. I think he got hit the most in the in the in the fight, though he wasn't like visibly uh, grazed or anything. So that wasn't. So that was also nice to see. Um, uh. So then they start sparring. Uh, Goku sort of hits both Toriko and Luffy pretty much at the same time, uh, proving his superiority and strength, I guess. And then Toriko and Luffy gang up on him, and Goku, you know, for, for the most part, holds his. He does hold his own, actually, not for the most part. He does hold his own. Fires a key blast, and then says it's time to get serious, which. And this is the part where I was like, well, okay, so they make Goku go Super Saiyan and fire Kamehameha at a Kugi punch and a, and a, and an armament hockey uh, Gatling gun. With the gear third from Luffy, and that caused like a huge explosion, which caused Mr. Saiyan to win. But why Goku going Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan? I mean, I guess I guess it, they didn't make him go Super Saiyan two or Super Saiyan three. So I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, it's still a special. Like all all, all logic is thrown out. It's just it's just thrown out. Okay, it, it doesn't really matter. So I was like, okay, fuck it. You know, it, it, it's cool. It's cool. Um, and that's basically it. Mr. Satan wins because obviously it's a gag fight, and then. Uh, he shares the meat with everyone, and then the part one ends with apparently this killer fish that is supposedly the quote unquote glutton of the sea, which we'll get to see. And it's gonna be a strong, it's gonna be, yo, it's about to be a strong ass fish because I watched the raw. Uh, I'll save that for my part two review, but yeah, anyway, um, art style, uh, the character models it for DBZ, I mean. Like I've been saying, the, this new animation just does not work for DBZ. I just doesn't. This new animation, listen. You either hand draw DBZ or you get better people to animate it. Because these character models are so goddamn off. I mean, Komatsu looked better than Piccolo. When Komatsu was running in the forest with, and, and Sanji was in front of him, it was when Gohan and Tsutsuno were with those two. Compare that model to when Piccolo was sitting in the stands. I mean... God damn, Pic Piccolo's model was just oh my goodness, that like, yeah. But yeah, that that that's really the only complaint that I have for this part one. Part two, there's gonna be a little more, uh, not not really complaints. I mean, it it, it is a special, so all logic is thrown out. But fuck it, fuck it, we'll save it for that. So yeah, only thing was just the character models for the DBZ characters. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, I forgot Zoro, Vegeta, and Zebra. I forgot about that shit. Um, this was another, like, nerf for the DBZ character, because he used a double Gallic cannon on, uh, Zoro, and, um, he used a double ga Gallic cannon on, uh, Zor Zoro and, uh, Zebra. So, th yeah, that was kind of weird. But, yeah, you know, he should have won, though. But, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for me. I will see you guys later. Peace.